I think there's three big differences. Uh, the first one is our presence here is much larger. We have one of the biggest booths uh, of any blockchain company, if not the biggest here. We have over 10 people here talking to various banks, CSDs, asset managers, and others. And I think there's a huge amount of demand that we're seeing. The second thing is you have digital asset teams. So digital assets was not something people put in their title even a few years ago. There weren't dedicated digital asset teams. Blockchain stuff and digital asset stuff used to live in the innovation group of most banks, which means it was one of many experiments that may or may not have continued. And this is the process that many blockchain companies, including us, went through year after year, going through the innovation group. But now you have people with titles like head of digital assets, digital asset tech lead, and so on. So you have dedicated teams and team members whose entire job is to make digital assets successful for their bank. So that's a very big difference. And then the final difference, and the one that I think is both beneficial to banks and beneficial to the adoption of CCAP and Chainlink, is that this thesis that every bank will have a single chain and the counterparties, the clients, the users of that bank will all integrate with their chain and that the bank will not need any other chain is gone, right? So there used to be this whole theory that I'm a bank and I'm so big and important that I'm gonna have my own chain and that's gonna be it. I'm just gonna use that one chain and everyone's gonna to come to my chain and be with me on my chain. Now banks are realizing that that's not realistic. And what's actually gonna happen is that gonna be hundreds of different chains. Every bank is gonna have its own chain. And in order to transact with that bank, with the other bank, you're gonna to need to connect to that chain. If you don't connect to banks, if you don't connect to counterparties on their chain, then you won't have clients, you won't have users, you won't have liquidity, you won't have markets. If there are no markets, there's no point of making your assets. So while the first step might be making the market uh, by creating the asset, the next step is getting liquidity, is getting value to flow into your asset by connecting it to multiple chains. And I think banks have realized this, as have the CSDs, the asset managers, various other market infrastructures, and this idea that you won't reach this state of either your own chain, having all the users come to you, or some magical global chain that all the banks are gonna be on simultaneously. This idea going away makes it clear that something like CCIP is absolutely critical. And I think we're by far the farthest bridge technology and connectivity technology both into chains and across chains. And I think banks see that thanks to our work with SWIFT and DTCC and Euroclear and all the participants in the recent POC. The report we put out with them I think was also very helpful and we have a lot more going on with a lot of the people in that report and uh, very excited how, how all that's uh, progressing. In other words, this excites me, I'm excited.